Hey there, welcome to another video. Let's finish up this chapter by showing you some resources if you want to continue working on team development. Because team understanding team structure is very important and it would be very hard for you to find a problem in the team then you can fix it using an app. So you have to watch these resources if you are not familiar with Shopify. Um, I highly recommend you to do that. So let's stop. The first place is of course the documentation and you can go to the docs from here select teams and from here you will go to the building a new team this is the best place to start it is going to show you um, how you can develop a team from start to finish using Shopify CLI um, Shopify teams are built using a language called liquid liquid is a templating language it is not a programming language but it is very powerful and the learning curve is very easy like once you start learning how liquid works you can easily find out your way of where you go from there and just watch some videos on liquid and how the, how it works in the team and it will be really easy for you to understand and it is all about like predefined um, variables that have a lot of uh, different properties for example if you are in the product page you have access to the product object product the title will render the title product the description will render the description so on and so forth if you are on the collection page the same thing um, it, it will have an object so first thing you have to go with the CLI and if you are learning liquid the liquid reference is the best place to start because it will tell you about the language and where you can use it and also some example for example you have the page description that tell you the description of each page and then in the product you have product title and some interesting like uh, templating syntax like this if you want to render something out you will use these double brackets similar to react and some other um, front-end framework like view and it works similar to that uh, if it is inside the liquid file it is going to render something out and it also explain everything like these are filters that you use in liquid i'm not going to go into details but I do have a course which is I don't know how many videos yeah 37 videos I posted um, around one year ago about building a Shopify uh, team with the store 2.0 and that is a full course if you want to build a team I have started with designing a team from scratch with Tailwind CSS and you can uh, you can check it out it it, it has a everything you need to know about Shopify team. Once you understand the team, you can easily find, spot the problem and then you can create an app for for, fix that, for fixing that. So I'm going to play that for now. The other thing is the this cheat sheet by Shopify. You can go to the shopify.com partner, then cheat sheet. The domain name should not matter. I think for Australia, if I remove this, it should it still work for the US. Yeah, this is the cheat sheet and the good thing about this one is you can find everything about liquid in here if you can't find you can see this the search in in the documentation this is also powerful but if you want to just search for something in here for example variants you can just uh, search for it directly in here and it will give you you have image variants and you can go to the next one it also have its own search but yeah this is the cheat sheet every object you need in, in liquid you can find in here with the description and also learn more will take you to the exact api uh, with some example and where you can use it so yeah these are all the resources there are many other in the on the internet but these are the one that i can recommend to you and in the next video we will start creating our app using shopify cli so that is going to be something interesting thank you for watching i will see you in the next video